moving on quickly when i mentioned this because people have been tagging me and telling me hey you should mention and talk about this this is regarding the fall 2023 louis vuitton show that was headed by the guy from kid super i forgot his name let me scroll down here what's his name again calm delane calm delane was announced as the new temporary uh co-ed director of louis vuitton men's which is really bizarre because louis vuitton men spent a whole year it felt like or maybe a few months pretending that they were going through some exhaustive process of trying to find the next person there was all this criteria around it they put out these false promises and false hope there'll be somebody black and there's so many cool interesting black designers who are really pushing things forward like the grace wells bonners and the martin rose and a few others out there and just other people in general who would maybe create and kind of extend and tell that kind of louis vuitton story and kind of take the baton over from Virgil R.I.P. and so be able to tell a completely different interesting story that can maybe continue that journey and inspire many different people and kids going up and in the end of it they just resorted to hiring Kid Super who in my opinion is no better than what the people at Mad Happy are doing I know some of you guys out there think this this was cool and this was good but I thought it was trash and if anything this was kind of this calm guy this calm delaying guy from kid super essentially doing his best impression of virgil abloh that's what it felt like it felt like he was cosplaying it felt like he was larping live action role playing as virgil abloh and for me if i'm if you're somebody sat there who didn't really like virgil's designs but then you can sit here and say you like this part of me wants to say you're racist <laughs> like part of me does because essentially this is him doing virgil's work without all the extras without all the actual edited kind of kitschy recruitments and whatnot and little eccentricities and whatnot he added and splashed and salt baby's way all over it this is essentially what it is this is like a stripped down pared down muted copy of what virgil did essentially this is what i would imagine that brand number 21 because i feel like number 21 has no identity whoever designs it do your job fantastic well done but whenever i see their runway pictures of that brand number 21 it always feels like they just copy whoever's in trend so back when phoebe filer was around at celine number 21 just looked like a really crappy copy of what phoebe filer celine looked like and now we have whatever's going on now you know from otolenga and with other people doing cool interesting things if you're like number 21 just kind of like swings and uh, in roundabouts in terms of the trends it kind of tries to copy and i feel like this is basically the same thing where it's essentially taking all of Virgil's kind of, you know, um, style codes and ways of doing things and his silhouettes and prints and all this sort of stuff and kind of doing it in a stripped back, paired back, muted fashion. And for me, I didn't like it in a slice. I personally thought it was completely underwhelming. And if anything goes to speak to why the appointment of the Kid Super guy was maybe one of the biggest disappointments ever when it comes to following somebody great who kind of unfortunately was taken from us too soon. Also, because of all the nonsense that they said beforehand, if they would have just hired this guy anyway, it would have still hurt, but fair. But they made such a big deal out like, of making it seem like they were being conscious of his family and his legacy and his passing. They didn't want to hire anyone too soon because it was in bad taste. When really, you know, these companies don't have taste, principles, morals, or any kind of ethics or empathy in the slightest anyway, right? They're cold hard business, which makes complete sense. Fair enough but they made it seem as if it was coming from a place of empathy a place of care a place of passion a place of compassion a place of wanting to do right and kind of extend this legacy and talk about interesting things and go forward and have an interest message and inspire different kids growing up blah 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 and tell it to be a black story a street story whatever it may be called and in the end he just hired this guy that's essentially doing his own diet version of fucking Virgil Abloh's work and me personally I didn't like in the slightest it was boring it was crap in my opinion it didn't really do anything for me it didn't have any of that wow factor that we know Virgil's work to have and it just felt really kind of you know whatever and if anything this show didn't need to have a co-ed designer if you told me this show was created entirely by the team that Virgil left behind at Louis Vuitton who did a few of the shows post his death if you told me this was just done by the team there that works behind the scenes I would have believed it but if this is you hiring somebody give them a big salary allow them to work out of the atelier that flipping Virgil's working in in Paris and whatnot and try and make it seem as if he's a new designer of Louis Vuitton men's then I say this is very 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 underwhelming in my opinion especially for the people out there who say Virgil's designs weren't good and they were too gaudy and he did too much and he was just maybe a better brand communicator and collaborator that he was an actual designer cool say those kind of things but if you like this you might not like black people 